Modesta modesta, Alexi here. It's been a while since I've been on studio live setup. I've been doing those those uh, walking live streams, and I was actually planning to do that also today, but it's you know typical Finnish weather: rainy, cloudy, cold, windy, and stuff like that. So I decided decided to keep it cozy today and have this session with you today and help out with your finite related questions you may have and of course to hang out with you and let's hope people actually find these streams once again so let me know in the chat where you're joining or if you're watching the replay welcome to you as well people in the future who will be watching this uh, we have some people already joining we have mixed it mixed hooked <laughs> Uh, and Muhammad also is hello from Espo. Espo is a pretty decent place. I'm actually I'm actually in Espo myself at the moment. Yeah, let me know which where you're joining, just like uh, Muhammad is doing here. So follow his his example. So I'm also here in Espo, Finland, and you know typical cold Finnish uh, autumn autumn weather at the moment here in Finland. We have also. Erfan Nix here. Hey, dude. Good to see you as well. And actually, what, what I really like about this live stream is that the people who actually join in the live chats are most often people who rarely comment on my regular videos. So often I will actually meet some new people during this live stream. That's one of the things what I really like, in fact. Mari in Finland. Hello from California. Oh, man. California is probably much sunnier than uh than what finland is so so that's really uh really something <laughs> i'd like to do like I, i'm actually planning to well this is just on thought states but i would really like to spend let's say half of the year like four or five months somewhere warm and then the summer and the spring in finland because you know kind of get the best of both worlds greg my man back to finland from minnesota and Reykjavik. yeah i saw your your uh, Facebook photos on Reykjavik, you were having some beautiful company as well, <laughs> you know, paying attention to detail. Combat aesthetics, uh, hello from Malaysia. I would like to go to Malaysia also one day. Hello from Oulu, pretty new in Finland, about seven months. Cheers. Oulu is a pretty decent city. I've, I've been there once. Uh, I was there once bowling when I was like a teenager because maybe, you know, I used to be like a more or less kick-ass bowler. I went to competitions actually uh, during my young days. Uh, how are you doing today? It's cold, but the buildings are pretty warm. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, <laughs> uh, maybe you saw that once in my videos that uh, my ex-girlfriend, who's she was Japanese. And of course, it was like this long distance relationship for a while. And, you know, when we having video calls, I was just wearing boxers during the video course she's like alexi how, uh, how how come you're not feeling cold but you know finnish homes actually pretty damn warm even the, in in the winter so that's pretty good uh, kenny 2000 from vanta good stuff renny roy from india nice and greg saying thanks combat aesthetics hot af here but i'll be looking forward to come up uh, for rain season really like chilly cold weather yeah i mean of course, the rain is kind of like annoying most of the time, but uh, there are also some positive sides, what you can also find find from that. Uh, I visited Helsinki Cathedral yesterday. It was pretty great. Yeah, I mean, Helsinki Cathedral is like the thing you have to see, definitely. I'm just to like fix my cables. I have like but lots of cables here. They like, I guess I have. You know, these are some of the things you should do before starting streaming. <laughs> okay, I think that's good because I have darn tall feet and they're always all over the place. Uh, Art Merikotka, hello from Lapper and thank you for doing your channel years ago. I found your video with answers about studies and here we are. Excellent. WTF, welcome to Finland, Art. Okay, so let's do the old uh, fashioned stuff where, let me see, banners. So I have this link form in the description. So I'm going to keep it open for now. So because sometimes there's a lot of stuff happening in the chat. So I may not see that all the time, but 
uh, if you say, want me to check out your question, you can use the link form in the description. So let's take a few of those as well. Maybe before I can wait for a while before you can get some questions running. And while before we do that, I'm going to check out some uh, good stuff from the chat. Hello from Turkey, but by young Russian boy. Okay, nice. I've also been to Istanbul one day. Hi, I'm from Singapore. You have come, come at good times and deciding whether to move to Finland for university. Is Finland a good long-term place to move and start family compared to Singapore? Or, okay, well, first of all, I have never been to Singapore and I have zero experience or knowledge about Singapore. So it's impossible for me to make the comparison. But, uh, but of course, I can speak for Finland. Um, and of course, from as a Finnish person, I think Finland is a pretty good place to start a family, because Finland is a very like a safe country. In many facts, we don't have any like these national disasters like earthquakes or hurricanes, things like this. The crime levels are also low. You can walk safely in the streets. Of course, the education system is good. Free education, if you think about your children's future. I mean, Finland is not necessarily an exciting country, but it's 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 like a very safe and stable, I'd say. And um, yeah, so I guess it, it's definitely a good choice. But of course, compared to Singapore, I can't really tell. Uh, Erfan says, I'm in Iran, but currently I'm planning to apply for masters in computer engineering this year. Okay, sounds like a plan. I have 15 degrees in my house in winter. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, I think the Finnish homes have like, it's like 22, something like that, degrees Celsius. Hey, Aydan, my man. Thanks again for the testimonial and all the support in my dating course. Really appreciate it. Uh, which bank would you actually suggest here to open account? I'm confused. The S bank open order. Okay. This is a good question. This is, I'm always. Uh, passionate about this money related financial asset stuff uh well the thing is that the banks uh, and the basic banking services do not really differ that much so whether you want to go with open or they are as bank it doesn't really matter uh with the fact that as Banki only provides their services in finnish but open and nordia provides them in english i'm a customer of open by the way i really like open and their system is good uh, you want to become a customer of s Bank because it's free. And if you become their owner customer, you get the banking services for free. And then you get this like a, uh, this as it to go to this like a cashback card where you can get this cashback bonuses when you're using their, uh, when you're buying from S Group stores. Uh, I don't have much experience of Nordea, but you can't really go wrong with any of this. So I'm a customer of Ope and s Bank actually, because uh, what as uh, uh, the yeah one more feature that as Bank provides is that you can create a joint account and have two cards so let's say for example my my girlfriend and I we have a joint account household household account in as at as Bank, and then we both have a credit debit card attached to that account so whenever we want to buy something common groceries stuff like that we can each we can use that account. So in that sense, it's actually good. Okay, uh, let me just check if we have any questions. Rolling, 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 rolling in front of the, of the. Oh, they have so many questions from the past. I have to scroll quite a bit. Today's fourteen. Okay, we have some first questions. Let's start. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should start putting like some of this sound, funny sound effects to these streams. Would be would be probably more interesting. Uh, uh, where I do a text wrap, text wrap. There we go. Okay, uh, let's take the first question do, 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 do. Uh, from Craig from the United States. Already living in Finland, remigration, you know, Finnish roots, family, and great music. The questions: How and where to start ice skating, Helsinki Espo? Uh, I think Helsinki, and I think I've actually sent you some of these links on, on Messenger. I remember you we were talking about this or you made a question. So there are a number of public ice rinks in any city, and they're completely free. 
So the only thing is that where did you get the skates? Well, you can go to any sports store and buy skates from there. And I know at least in Helsinki, in Kallio, there's this big uh, ice rink called Brahenkenttä. It's, it's in Kallio area. And you can even rent skates from there. So that's what I would do. So if you plan to do it more on a regular basis, then I would probably buy my own skates. And then you can just take them wherever you go and you can go to any public ice rinks. Uh, in the winter, of course, those are available during the summer and uh, you have to go to these ice halls. But uh, I would check out those. They have websites where you can see if they cost anything. But in, in the winter, they are, the public ice rinks are free. Great. Uh, just quick chats for, of quick recognition from the chat. Amateur architect from Canada. Max the Miss Stodden from Nevada. And thanks for being a member as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for advice for the banks. Good stuff. Good uh, from Kotka as well. Great. Okay, let's take the next question. Uh, Erfan from Iran, moving here within a year for studies, calm nature, and my brother is also here. Are the reasons. The question is, do you think it's easy to maintain a living as a computer engineer's bachelor's graduate with no job experience? Uh, okay, so this is about job stuff. Well, the only thing I can say in general level that I th- there are, I think there are a good amount of IT jobs available, and the good news is these IT companies have English as working language. And I think if you can get any IT jobs, you will definitely you can definitely support yourself. Like the salaries are kind of good. Uh, in Finland uh, in general and uh, if you have like a reasonable spending habits you can definitely get by in my opinion so I should so the uh, so the, if I understood the question correctly if I uh, like can I maintain living as a computer engineer bachelor's graduate yeah if you can get the job you can definitely maintain That's what I would say, in in my opinion. Next question from LPR from Finland. Great. Already living in Finland. <laughs> Why not? It's a better place to live. Close culture and ancestral roots, safe place. The question is, we all know how to date now, but how to find a third for a threesome? Oh, <laughs> think this escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sure if this... I think we're on the wrong platform to talk about this, these topics. Well, I think it it works the same way as in any culture, I guess. Maybe you just go to Google and find some some tips from there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, this this things escalated quickly. Uh, Adelina Borges, uh, she's from India and moving within three years to Finland. At least that's the plan for working weather and the language were the source of inspiration good stuff and again i'm doing this phone call emoji i have no idea uh the question is is it a good idea to mortgage arouse through banks for and apply for home loans mortgage i think it's a mortgage around through banks okay not to, not to entirely sure what the question was but if you want to buy a home you definitely need to get the mortgage unless you have like the <laughs> you have already made some success and you have 300,000 euros for example in cash but what my my advice is I'm actually planning to make an online course about this whole buying process or that's at least at least the plan let me know if, if, if you're interested but my pro tip is that get up at least a few offers from let's say two to three different banks for, for example you can get order Nordea or maybe Danske Bank And never accept the first offer because the first offer is always the most profitable for the bank. So what you can do, you can first take, let's say, an offer from Norda, then an offer from Ope. And let's say Ope offered you the better one. Then you can go back to Norda and say, hey, we actually got the better offer from uh, this another bank. Can you improve? And this is actually what we, me and girl, my girlfriend and I, we did as well. And for example, we... I got four different offers from Ope because I always went back to them and said like, hey, we got the better offer, we got the better offer. And then at some point we say, hey, this is the lowest we can go. 
So make sure to do that because you will save buttloads of money in the in the interest rates and also the setup fees. For example, I think the first offer was like margin was like zero point or like one point one percent, and the setup fee was like nine hundred euros. And what we eventually got was uh, margin zero point four percent and setup fee two hundred euros. So seven hundred euros with and margin but lots of margin saved there so definitely uh Todd from Russia as uh, is moving to Finland within a year working for working and uh, quiet uh, silence quietness is the reason and the question is I'm going to Finland trying to find work one month take near 25 applications still no offense so what I missed maybe I'm doing it wrong I'm a landscape architect oh well I don't know how the job situation is in architecture, but um, well, I have a video about like this on general, like how to find a job in Finland. And uh, I guess it really comes to the fact like what are the skills, what are the requirements in those job ap ap applications? Do you have those skills? And maybe I would also tip that try to find people who have already found those jobs, especially if they're foreigners, and ask their how did how did they do, manage to do that? Because they are real life examples that it could work. Hey, Chris Roberts is also here from France. Ella is also here. Good evening from Abu Dhabi, United uh, Arab Emirates. Good stuff. Ahmed says to Suomi and Tala Kaudismaa. Why is it hard to take installment plans if you still like less? In the, yeah. Okay. So quick question to this. So in Finland, we have this like credits uh, rating system. And if you have lived in Finland less than two years, you have not established like a credit rating here. And that's why the, the service providers, for example, if you want to take a postpaid phone plan, they may say like, okay, your credit rating is not established yet and this also applies to installments so it's just how it works i guess you can always try to negotiate like hey have a proper salaries and everything but it's it's just a kind of like a fault in the system this also applies for example for Finns who have lived let's say six years abroad and then they move back they also face these same problems kind of annoying okay let's go back to the forums Reni from india uh, He's moving to Finland within a year for working and climate number re one reason. And her question is chartered account and job opportunities in Helsinki. Unfortunately, the answer is the same. I don't know any, I don't have any experience on accounting. I would just say start, start making the research, re research the field, see what the requirements are, see if you can meet those criteria and go from there. I have one video about this uh on my youtube channel so next question from art from estonia he's a really regular here on our channel uh, remigration and finnish descent would be the reasons work and the country itself and the questions why it's hard to apply for credit card or install oh, okay i think we answered this question credit card or installment payment if you are just under a year living in finland well i think the credit card is a bit different my my student uh, who moved uh, this American lady who moved to Finland she told that uh, like when she tried to apply for a credit card I think she told that it would take like three months to get the credit card so it, it really depends and I think it's the same reason because of the credit history is not established yet Pamela says hi yes it took me two years to get credit started small like clothing company and then build from there okay all right hello i'm planning to buy an apartment built in 82 real tone paper state that there won't be any putkeremontti is it too risky to such an apartment uh okay so this is about buying a home so in general like the pipe renovation comes every 40 to 50 years and the it build apartment is built in 82 and I would say it, it will be coming in in the 10 years because then the apartment would turn 50 
and that's usually when the pipe renovation comes comes so i mean i would be it's 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 a, it could it could be a close one i would at least find a couple of other other apartments and and see if they're if they're better because pipe renovations can you have first of all you cannot live there for like a couple of months and they're really expensive you cannot because the shareholders the owners of the apartments have to participate to those those uh renovations as well uh hasanul says other than the jobs it's a heaven if you're a quiet person yeah i mean <laughs> feeling it's a heaven for introverts but the job situation is so bad so bad that everything becomes a disaster well i have also heard foreigners telling me that they have never had a trouble or it, they have never had the challenge to find a job here so it really depends on your field on your skills and also your network networking is probably the most important thing so but of course there can be challenges but of course every coins has its flip side uh does k group have bonus card yes uh co plus support k plus uh, like co plus support they have they actually have a, that one as well uh, art says about credits my girlfriend received student credit card from s Ah, uh, yeah i also received that back in the day without any income yeah i mean the students can get this credit card once they have enough credits I remember because I also got that card. I wouldn't. I don't see why they wouldn't issue those to foreign students as well. But you need to check it. I I, I got mine from OP back in the day. Yes. Okay. Great. Let's take a few more. A question about the tourism. Well, I'm gonna go back to the forums. I'm. I'm just gonna. I think I should like do like some sort of system, like how to how to uh, go between the chat and the uh, and the and the chat. Emeka is just joining. Welcome. You just joined in the prime time. Okay. Art uh, also asked in the in the chat uh, in the form after capital reason what is the best place for english speakers what are the best tourist places for business business point of view best tourist places from a business point of view not really sure what that means but i mean i think all the big cities like turku tampere probably um i think tampere and turku are probably the second best And becoming Finnish from Philippines also asked about the credit card thing. I think it was also asked in the chat, so we, let's skip that. Uh, Daniel from Philippines, already living in here for studies, asks that I'm a nursing student. I've tried applying for a student loan at Kela, but it was declined several times. My last hope to be able to pay my last semester next spring is to have a credit card. I have seen your video about credit card. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if student loans are for foreign students. Actually, this is, I've never even thought, like this is the first time I actually see this case. And of course, banks do not give you credit cards if you don't have steady income. But of course, we talk about the OP, this like a student, student uh, credit card stuff. But I don't, yeah i don't know what else there is uh, of course maybe finding a job but uh, next pay my last semester but you can the tuition fees are kind of high so i'm unfortunately i don't i can't really think of what else what else you can do and the credit cards even they, they have like credit limits and and uh, for example i think my first credit card was, it has like 2000 euro line of credit so i'm i'm not sure if that would be even enough 
Yep. So you know the banks always decide like if if there's if they're the worth worth the risk to issue the credit card. Mm, Lucas from Hong Kong is planning to move to Finland within five years for studies, natural landscape for the uh, source of interest. And the question is, what is the best student city for international students? Turku or Vasa? Well, Turku is a little bit bigger city than Vasa. Vasa is like Vasa is definitely more like Swedish speaking stuff, but Turku also does too. Uh, well, again, I have never lived in either of, either of these cities. I would probably do some more research, but I think they're both okay. Maybe Turku is a little bit big, bigger and stuff, but Vasa is like much in the north, so it may also offer other opportunities. Great. Good question so far. Uh, Alexander from Russia is already living in Finland for working and the question is what about creating video featuring recent immigrants and direct challenges? It's an interesting idea. I have done one this video where I've interviewed immigrants or like foreigners in Finland. Uh, that video didn't do that well maybe because of the I didn't title it that well or, or the thumbnails was kind of bo poor as well but that's a good idea anyways I should definitely look into it. Uh, let's go back to the chat because I finished all the questions from the the uh, form, but keep up, keep them coming. Flame says my favorite bands are from Finland. Long live Finland, land of soul. Great, yeah. I, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons, or if music is one of the reasons why people actually open the window. This bit gets a bit hot in here. So yeah, I mean, people do like uh, Finnish music, definitely. Let's see, let's see what happened to the value of Euro. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think dollar has just gotten better. I guess it depends where you, what are you comparing it to, but about inflation, like we have a kind of bad inflation running. Uh, would you love to see your online course for buying home in Finland? Yes. So I may start working on it at uh, like this year. So I would probably pick up like a few uh, beta students who are in the process so I could kind of help them through it. And then based on what we learn in course or in the, in the beta te phase, then I would make a course about that. So. Let's see. Ahmed says, doesn't matter if Suomi is a good place or not, I just want to be there. Yeah, I mean, Finland is not the perfect country. Finland is a good country, but not perfect. So, like many people come here, they believe, ah, oh, Finland is the perfect country, and then they realize they face some challenges and stuff like that. But that's, that's just part of the, that's just life, you know. Like wherever you go, there's, 100 kilos shit waiting for you and then you just need to pick the shit you you're ready to deal with <laughs> that was like mark manson's uh, from Ma mark manson's book uh hakan says you can't have fun in other countries these countries these are countries of this and you have to make your money and spend it abroad i mean you can have, have fun in finland definitely but i mean of course because I'm a li Finnish person living in Finland, then of course I find other countries interesting because it's different and, you know, so... And of course, because other countries can be also cheaper. So, of course, it makes sense that way. Cannot see the questions on live stream. Ah, uh, yeah, because the, I'm reading them from this the, um, form. So that's that's the reason. Gold Coins asks or says, I think one of my worries when it comes to moving to Finland is that the country will change in a very negative through hyper immigration like since we're in a world. I guess it's a valid point. 
I'm not sure if there's much we can do about it. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how, how things go. Stefan, my man, I would be down to be interviewed as a foreigner. Weather kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, you would you'd be great. <laughs> you'd be great uh, for the uh, for those videos. I don't think you're a parent, but in your opinion, would where would we play? Where would be the better place in Finland to raise a family? Uh, I think anywhere. Of yeah. so, I think any city have have good good uh or it's good to in any city so but of course because then it comes to other facts like for example your jobs or what other things you want do you want good services or do you want to be in the for in the nature things like that rosan says finland definitely does have awesome music yes why do Finns love their own personal space it makes them look like snob <laughs> Um, I guess we just respect our physical boundaries, and uh, but you know the personal space thing—it's just more like a stereotype. So, I mean, uh, you can go talk to people. Definitely, you can. <laughs> For example, when I was doing those street interview videos, I was approaching strangers with the camera. I was just like friendly and I gave like a quick, quick compliment and it was actually quite easy to find people to join. So I guess I think we should just forget that or not overthink about the, the uh, personal space thing. Where is a good spot to place raise family? Currently one that my wife from all who talks about moving back every so often. Yeah, I mean, it depends. For example, if if your wife's parents are still living in Olo, then you have like this support network. You maybe uh, the parents can also take care of the kids. So, I mean, it's it's a valid point. You should ask why she wants to go there. But Olo is a big city. It's like one of the big cities in that region. So I don't see why not. Victor is also a Terve. How does Finland compare to Sweden or Estonia? I mean, they're pretty similar countries more or less which country is perfect i don't know unfortunately what is good place oh, people asking this <laughs> this was the third time i think we had this question but yeah i think it really comes to the fact it's not really about like where the nurse the family but where do you enjoy living in my opinion I, or i think that's also important jacqueline Hi, how are you? Thanks for asking. I'm doing great. How about you? Becca says, from a linguistic standpoint, I find Finnish as long as it's so fascinating. I love the sound of it so much that I even went to unit study. Awesome. Great. I really love the quietness and calmness here. Everybody deals with their business, but whenever I sit down to talk to Finns, they just don't show much of expression on their face. Yeah. You know, we have this finished smile. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's just uh, if if you're talking to a new person, then we may not have like a reason to be super expressive because we just don't know you yet. But of course, there are some people who can be very expressive by nature. There are 55k Estonians in Finland, 5k wins in Estonia. That is the answer. Yeah, that's true. What is your advice to learn Finnish? Uh, well, first of all, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's it's uh, it's a long-term game, and the results will come come over time. Don't overthink the grammar too much because the grammar is definitely complicated. But I would uh, focus on the speaking like gaining confidence in speaking and vocabulary and and then the grammar kind of comes along with it that's that's what i would give as a quick advice also keep 
stay consistent. Try to learn a little bit every day. Rekka says, I, there's no perfect country, but also about the country, but your own perspective on life. Yes, that is a very good point. But being here in Finland for a while, I may say that it's best to place to raise a family. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, what kind of things do you value in li- like life? I think that's that's the that's the point. America says, I want to visit Finland in winter, but I think the summer is when I have more fun. Yeah, I, I think summer in general is more fun because people... There's much more things to do and people are hanging out in the parks and and stuff like that more happy more expressive but also winter is not bad i mean winter, winter can offer some pretty unique experiences and then we <laughs> have some tinder hot or can i yeah let's block this block these people or these bots over here uh I went to visit Finland in winter, but I think maybe summer is when... Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I, I read this. Acho Anon says, any views about other countries for good life? Well, I've only lived in Japan. I can't really say much. But each country has its pros and cons. And you just need to value what are, what's important to you. Can you get around with Swedish in any city? Uh, not in every city, but... In some cities, yes, I think in Helsinki there's a lot of Swedish, Swedish speakers, speak, Swedish speaking people on the west coast, Turku Vasa. But not not in every city, I would say, even if it's the official language. Though no. Finland is easier to make friends compared to Scandinavian countries, as far as I've noticed. Okay, that's that's great to hear. That's great to hear. People often tell me it's challenging to meet or get make friends. Elena says, I just saw this on my recommendation came to hear that obviously Finland is the place to be. Elena, that's that's awesome. Good to hear. Hello from South Korea. Nice. Welcome to the show. Hyper immigration could be an issue in Finland having a small native population. Yeah, I, I do agree. I mean, I guess we should just keep it reasonable. Is it hard to get Finnish friend at school? Well, I got most of my Finnish friends at school, so I think that's the best opportunities to make friends if you have, if you're at attending Finnish school or university, for example. Is it possible to top up your HSL card with monthly ticket? Uh, I think it is, but I would r- strongly recommend to get the mobile app and the HSL mobile app and use everything there. I have I have given up the co- physical card years ago because the app is so so good and i i get you can do all the stuff there but um if you have the value card can you do it there actually that's something i'm not quite sure but i would still prefer the app but i think you can just google this hsl has good website in english is there much of a snack culture hmm snack culture Well, what kind of snack culture are we talking about? Maybe the answer is no, because I cannot cannot think of any anything. Snacks. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe no. Maybe if you can give me an example. Yes, Finnish grammar but is a bit related to Satan, <laughs> but in a funny way. Ha ha ha! I still want to learn Finnish. Though. Okay. How is it related? Not sure, but would be interesting to hear. What is a good place to raise a family? Uh, okay, it's the same question again. Get good work opportunities. Well, the, of course, the capital area is the best for work opportunities. But I think any of the big cities, Helsinki, Espoo, Vanta, Tampere, Turku, uh, Oulu, maybe, uh, maybe Kuopio, Joensu. It really depends. Jacqueline says, I already asked, I know I asked two questions already, but which language do you speak aside Finnish and English? I'm South Australian and German speaking region in Italy. You got this. Nice. Well, I speak I speak some Swedish, German and my Japanese is kind of rusty, but I I I guess I can say that I speak Japanese. Yeah, I should actually brush it up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Anna says FBA management. The feds are getting their money back from rents. All right. Arches, thank you. Christine, 
Hello, I'm your subscriber from Philippines. It's already 12.33 a.m. in my country. What time in Finland? Uh, quarter to eight. So 7.45 p.m. Yaho, moi. Yaho. Uh, genki. Genki kai. Uh, live show sinne jalkosa. Do you see Finland as a place for people to come when times are getting tougher? Uh, I, I guess it depends what it what it means to get tougher. But I mean Finland, I still I think it still remains to be remains as a good country. Yeah. I I I I, I mean it depends what means times are getting tougher. Maybe if we can get a little bit more concrete, I can give a better answer. What do you think about Eastern Finland? Um I think it's okay. I heard the people are more talkative there. <laughs> What are your, some of your favorite Finnish idioms? Is there something you personally find funny or interesting about Finnish grammar? Finnish idioms, like sayings. Is there something you personally find funny or it? Probably is, but now when I try to think of so, think of it actively, I cannot probably come up with anything. Uh, Yeah, I, I guess the spoken Finnish is kind of interesting because we are kind of it's kind of like a kind of like a variation of the real Finnish. I wonder why it turned it turned out that way. Uh, for those trying to learn Finnish, I was able to find so many master textbooks, PDFs online for free, as they tell you the activity answers in the back. Yeah. No, of course, if you can find them for free, <laughs> good for you, because, I mean, you, you should technically buy those books, but, I mean, if if you find them, then, I guess, no worries. <sighs> you can top it up in Leppavara for sure, not so about Arekioski, though. Yeah, I'm not actually sure, because I I haven't used the card for, like, <laughs> for years, so, so I don't know what's the latest. Snack culture, they make mixed things of hobbits. Good stuff. What language do you use your first in example words? Of, well, I would, my, my first language is Finnish, but of course, if I see someone speaking Swedish, then I would probably talk in Swedish. It depends on the case, I guess. Americans are always grazing, lol. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot about Finland through your channel. Thanks for every information that you shared about your country. Christian, thank you so much. That's exactly why I am doing these videos. So I can help you. I can help you. Maybe, actually, let me just put this my standing desk because I think I need to get a little bit... <laughs> getting a little bit drowsy, so I need to activate my sexy Finnish body. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Uh, chips, candy, movies, next gas stations. Yeah, of course. Well, of course we have those here as well. But I don't think we. It's it, we don't really have like a culture around <laughs> around that. Lol, there are snacks everywhere. Yeah, we have snacks definitely everywhere, but. I guess it depends what it, mean, what it means to have a culture. Hello from India. Hello from Finland. I actually started watching your YouTube videos back in, back in Pakistan when I was preparing to come to Finland. It was quite helpful. Yes, that's amazing. Good to hear. Adelina, thanks for answering my questions. Thanks, Adelina, for sending your questions. Moi, Alex again from Argentina. Moi, Marta. Yeah, I would love to go to Argentina. Actually, my good friend just spent his uh, honeymoon in Argentina a couple of weeks. Most countries are given a pacifier, while Finland is given a bottle of nutrient-rich milk. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hey, Joe is also in. Kuis roikku? Hyvi roikku. Joe is, by the way, our Oulu expert. We haven't had some questions about Oulu, so... Uh, I got Fatsa chocolates a few days ago from my customer and made it my day. 
it's so expensive when you try buying Japan. Are snacks in Finland getting more expensive? Yeah, I think the inflation is kind of taxing or like making everything like a little bit more expensive. But uh, yeah, I guess there are a little bit. I haven't followed like how much, but I guess they are a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about this yawning. I mean, it's already eight in the evening, and I'm technically this is my work, so it's it's a long long day at the office. But yeah, I I am enjoying spending time with you. I remember from my visits, it's not so common for food places in Finland to stay open at the ten. Yeah, actually, that's something what I've learned that if you want to have like late dinner in Finland, like like let's say after nine or so something like or let's say after 10 then i mean the options are limited yeah it's actually quite interesting good point from rg camilla says moya likes hello from brazil love your videos camilla thank you so much betty says lampy mambi is one of the most funny Finnish words uh, means warmer as far as I know. Oh, and hello from Austria. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> yeah, this this lampy mampy is definitely I've heard it before or I've heard this there. Uh, holy shit, maybe I should go get some coffee. <laughs> well Yeah, I've heard this lampy mampy from uh the foreign people. Most clubs are shows take most takeaways are still open, yeah. Rosanna Pretty much everything, gathering activity here in the States involves snacks. Okay, so maybe that kind of culture we don't have. Have you ever taken, used any benefits from Kela? Uh, yes. So when I was a student, I got the student aid. And then I got the Gesson Asumis tickets. Uh, what, what, it's like this living benefit, something like that. Because that's part of the student benefit. And... Yeah, so that's the only thing I've used. So we get like around, or at back then, it was like 470 euros a month to cover our living costs. It's a it's a very good system. Of course, I used a little bit of the student loan. And the student loan is actually quite interesting. There's a number of benefits. So if you graduate in time, the loan amount that exceeds 2,500 euros, I think it's 40% of that will be forgiven. And I actually kind of regret that I didn't take up more of that loan because I have I would have probably just invested in, in, in the stock market or in my apartment savings account <laughs> because I didn't, back then I, can't, I didn't understand the benefit, unfortunately. One Finnish idiom I like all of Queen Pera says, and I'm going, <laughs> yeah, like you are like a, a bear shot in the ass. You're kind of like angry <laughs> or crummy. Benefits from Kela? Never. I am a Finn. Well, they most mostly Finnish people use those Kela benefits. No services. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Paid by Finnish taxpayers like me. Yeah. Of course, they, they are funded by tax money. Chris says, what I meant is Finland seems to be like a gateway to escape because of all the threats and things going in the world. There's something about the Finnish way they just uh, carry on. Yeah, I guess more or less, more or less. How expensive is a two rooms flat in Helsinki? Well, we can, we can check. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, how do I share my screen? Slide, no, share screen. Let me just close Pornhub first. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't know, work, Rahaku, share, and then, okay. I think you can see now. So you can use this walkravi.com. It works in English. Uh, what was the question? Two rooms flat. So let's... Um, Two rooms, block of flats. Uh, let's just type in Helsinki. Let's make it kind of broad. 
Um, then it's number of features. I think we can just leave them open for now. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's let, save Watchdog. I, I like it. Let's do it. Ah, I should have just... I always make the same mistake because I first have to click the map search. Let's do a Helsinki. Flats, two rooms. Uh, no, three rooms. And how many square meters? Uh, let's just leave those for like open. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of options probably because we have so broad. Okay. Uh, let's pick. Okay, let's 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 take not take from the downtown because that's gonna be expensive. Let's take for example here at uh, Takat of oh damn. Zoom in, zoom in. Let's go, for example, here around. Okay, what is this area? Is it Takatöla? Okay, May, let's take Meilahti. Meilahti here, we have around 1000 euro in this area. Two flats, 50, 50 square meters, 40 square meters. Let's look at here, Munkiniemi. Uh, okay, this is much more expensive. To be honest, I don't know why. Almost 500 euros more expensive. It's kind of weird. Why, why is it so expensive? This just next to them, 1,000 euros. Okay, so I guess around 1,000 euros seems with a quick check. Actually, we also lived in two-room apartment with my girlfriend before buying this place. And we actually also paid around 1,000 euros. So I think 1,000 euros is the good... good uh, indicator uh okay let's let's say okay 900 euros 1050 etelä haga okay i think it's around the 1000 euros like it's the sweet spot so vuokravi.com this works in english you can use it for research okay hope it helps how hard can it be for a foreigner to find a job in finland if you're over 50 uh well, I'm going to be honest, I think it's going to be somewhat challenging, but again, it really depends on your skills, your background, the field you're in. But again, I, I, I think it you should, what I would probably do is try to find people who have actually done that and see like how they did it. Kuinka paljon maksat sähköstä per kilowattitunti? Uh, so we have this, so how much I'm paying for electricity. So currently we have this pörssisähkö, this stock market price. Because we had this like a different type, but then our electricity vendor just said, hey, we're changing this this deal. And actually, we, let's, let's check that out as well. Present again. Share screen. Chrome tab. So there is this website called sahko.tk and here you can see how much the stock electricity price is at the moment and actually as you, as you can see it's 37 cents around 38 cents so it's kind of high at the moment so it's gonna be a, well my like computers don't really they don't really consume that much electricity so the price changes every hour, as you can see. So in the night, at night, it's usually very low because there's no demand. But then when people wake up, as you can see, it's the price is going a little bit. And we can actually see them in advance, like one day in advance. So this is what I'm paying this hour. <laughs> and this and this includes the tax also. 24% value added tax. Actually, the government is going to decrease the value added tax to 10%, I think, from December, just because of that to kind of help help people survive. Uh, I was thinking about studying in Finland, then wound up going to Canada. Okay, Canada is not a, it's a decent place, I guess, as well. What do you think about the Russian threat? Well, to be honest, I don't think that Russia is going to come here because they're so occupied in Ukraine. That would just 
make the things much worse from them. Vladimir says, thank you. Thank you. If you start a contract today, around 40 cents per kilowatt hour, but the exchange price are usually, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't take a fixed price contract now because uh, as if we, do I still have it here? As we can see, the prices are have been kind of low. For example, this uh, 28 uh, days average has been around 20. But of course, when we are going towards the winter, it's going to be more expensive because uh, we have, for example, lots of homes that have electricity heating. So that increases demand and prices also go up when the demand goes up. Sometimes depend on how apparent apparent is a landmark bus metrics will be more expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, bus metro stations are, of course, they increase the value, of course, because it's of more convenient. It depends which company sells very expensive now if it's 30 cents. Yeah, but I mean, if you take a fixed price, then they can be expensive. So I would not, this is the worst time to get a new contract. <laughs> I would probably just pick up like a, this stock price deal and go go with it until we will get better deals. Any websites to find jobs related to sports? Um, well, there is this website called Jobs in Finland, which is, let me show you. Jobs in Finland. Finland.com. This has jobs especially english speaking positions I've, I've i've had a look at this a couple of times and uh, here you can find some let me zoom in a little bit so here here you can find jobs that are english speaking positions as far as i know and as, as you can see we have a quite a few you can focus on the search in area and different uh, fields, ICT engineering. So maybe this one helps. Jobs in Finland.fi. Of course, Finland, aside from the freezing weather, what I hate about North of winter time get always sacker is because static shock sucks. <laughs> okay. I've actually, I haven't had static shock shocks, but I have heard of that problem. Definitely. Do you know listen to band Stamina? Uh, I know it, but I'm I don't really listen to it. It's my favorite Finnish metal band, and I'm trying to learn Finnish, understand the lyrics. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, apartment. I think it was about the previous message. Is it possible for a foreigner over a bank account in Finland if not living there yet? Uh, answer is no, but there is a backup plan which you can. Uh, use and that is called wise i have a tutorial video about that so transfer wise let me just pull it back here oops So with uh, TransferWise, you can create this uh, Euro account and you can also get this debit card, this WISE debit card. So what you can do is that you can send your currency to WISE, then convert that to Euros, and then you can order this WISE debit card so you can use Euros in Finland before you get actually a real bank account open. And you can also pay, for example, rents and these deposits using that because they have to always be paid with the bank transfer. You cannot use a credit or debit card to pay uh, rent, for example, in Finland. And I have a video about this on my channel. You can just go Alex himself, transfer wise, and uh, you can get it there. I would definitely recommend to open this and use that until you get a bank op bank open. There is a bank that you would recommend. Well, I'm a customer of OP myself, so OP is pretty good. They offer English service as well. OP, OP is the I have fixed price for 10 cents kilometer. Well, that's 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 pretty good, I would say. 
Do you have any websites that help you get jobs? Well, the jobs in Finland is pretty good, which we just showed. Is the temperature getting colder and colder after October? Yes. That's not usually the cold season starts in uh, in uh, November and December. December is actually the official first winter month. Hi, bro. Can international students' kids get child benefits? Uh, I think so. Yeah, like child allowance. So I think yeah, go to Kela's website. She has more info, but I, I think so, yeah. Actually, I got it for touching metallic items, clothing, and sometimes hair of my body as well. Okay. Cool, thanks, good stuff. Going to see your video. Yeah, go check it out. So I definitely recommend. There's also this affiliate link of mine. So if you decide to use wise, I also get some beer money <laughs> for myself. But it's a good... Uh, that's why I made the video because I know it will help people like you. Hey, I think I managed. There was a lot of stuff happening in the chat. Maybe I can pop up in the forums. Like, take a quick few questions here. Uh, Lucas from Hong Kong. I uh, know we actually answered this. Uh, Alexander. No, this we also asked. Uh, okay. The next question is from Alfred from Japan. Already living in Finland for studies, cost of living, most important uh, thing. And the question is, can I do master degree for free with dual citizenship, like one EU passport and one Japanese passport? I believe so. If you have a European Union citizenship, you have free tuition fees. That, as far as I know. Victor from England asks, uh, uh, no, Victor from England is, haven't decided, has not decided yet whether wants to move to Finland, but tourism is interesting and learning Finnish. How does Finland compare to Sweden and Estonia? Well, of course, the language is different, but I think they're pretty much similar countries on average, like on, on a, like a general level. Like we, yeah, that's a bit boring answer, but I don't think that's much more insights I can offer, unfortunately. Adelina asks, uh, Adelina from India asks, um, when is it a good time to raise a family? What is a good place? Okay, so we already asked this in the in the chat. Pankai says, Pankai from India is already living in Finland for working. And the questions I have a medical engineering background. What are the possibilities of getting a shop here? Um, well, I guess overall you should have some opportunities. Make sure to just to network. Uh, do your research and uh, yeah, just keep applying. Okay, let's go back to chat. How was your experience at Tampere University? What do you recommend Tampere? Yeah, Tampere was really nice. I was living in, back then it was called Tampere University of Technology, but I really like Tampere. I, I don't have anything bad bad to say and of course it depends what you will be studying but overall i think tamper is pretty good can you please share the link of that website about uh, okay so jobs in finland.fi how is kiamik university in uvascular well i have actually studied in university of uvascular for one year but um I can't really say much about the uh, YAMK. Uni it's a University of Applied Sciences, by the way, this YAMK. So I don't, I haven't ever studied there, unfortunately. What's the job situation around Kajani? Well, Kajani is a very small city and I, I think it's going to be challenging there because it's not an international city at all, to be honest. So, yeah. That, but again, I don't live in Kajani, so I can't really say, but I can just say that Kajani is a small city, and usually small cities have less opportunities. Juho is also here. Moi Juho. Moi, hello from Kivenlahti. Good stuff. Moro, silent subscriber here from Philippines, but currently here in Turku. Nice. Turku is an awesome city as well. Kaio Naves, haha, if I manage to move to Finland, we can share some beer. I'm trying to get PhD funding from studying Turku. 
Sounds like a plan. And then this random Alex himself asks, jobs in Finland, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's already one hour. Wow, time flies. Time flies. So yeah, it's, it's been actually kind of interesting because it's I've been doing this YouTube stuff full time for 10 months now, 10 and a half months. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been a very interesting experience. And actually what I'm currently doing now is uh, I'm actually trying to outsource the editing. So I'm actually working with like a couple of freelancers and there's this like a video, ser video editing service located in the US. So I'm, tr I'm trying to see if I can manage to outsource it because that would <laughs> be such a relief for me because I don't really enjoy the editing that much. And I believe that I could do much like more important things while I'm instead of the editing. And we have again this, why do these bots always, <laughs> always get here? Block user. So yeah, so for example, that's why there hasn't been new videos for the past two weeks because I'm kind of trying to get things rolling with the with the editors and see if it actually works. And yeah, so it would be kind of cool if I ma managed to outsource the editing. It would be such a huge boost. Yep. What did you study at Uvascular University? I studied mathematics. What about job opportunities? I can't really say much about the job opportunities. Uh, so if you're asking about the job opportunities, then just go to, for example, the websites, the jobs in Finland and see if there are, what what opportunities there are in, what, po what job listings you can find. Very challenging here in Kayana land, even Finnish speaking are employed. Okay, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I was kind of thinking. Thank you so much, Alexi, for sharing the website because I'm planning to move Finland as a preschool teacher. Hmm, sounds like a plan. Are you fluent in the Finnish language? Yes, I'm a native speaker. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny that I get this question quite quite often that some people don't even uh, realize that I'm a Finnish person. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying this to often offend anyone, but because I think it's I think it would be kind of obvious, but maybe it's a, maybe it isn't kind of cool. Yeah. If I was come to Finland for work with languages, what languages are high in demand here? Ah, that's again something I, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, I, I would just do, again advise to do the research. I think German could be yes, because there's we do actually a lot of business with German companies. I think that's maybe at some. You are probably the best person for people seeking advice about moving to Finland. Alfred, thank you so much. Truly really appreciate it. You are Mandarin, German, French, Spanish. I think this makes sense. Dennis is need if you can translate. Okay, yeah. Can we hang out if 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 I come to Finland? Uh, yeah, I would love to organize this fan. This like some sort of meetup at some point because it's been so long, such a long time since the last time I'm being like kind of procrastinating because I, I, I just kind of like, I'm just overthinking about it and I should just make it happen. Hey dude, schedule a meeting in Helsinki. Yeah, exactly. Forget per, permanent residence is compulsory to learn Finnish. Uh, as far as I know, no, only for citizenship you need Finnish language. Cheers. Cheers. How do I pronounce the letter A in Finnish? A, that's how you pronounce it. Like, uh, what was the English example? Er, uh, no, that's cat, cat. Like the A in the word cat, cat, cat. Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay, getting too weird. How to become fluent in Finnish if I can't find Finnish friends? Uh, okay, I recommend this service called italki. Italki.com. No, not Pornhub. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm just closing, closing some the old. So this website. Uh, 
So this is good because you can find these customizable one-on-one -on -one lessons from native speakers. And they are very like good price, reasonably priced. Actually, let me see. Can I? Uh, okay, just a second. Let me see. Just see if I have to log in. Yeah, I can actually just quickly demonstrate because I, I think this is good. I've also tried this myself with German. Uh, yeah, let me just put you back back screen. So let's go. Come on. Huh? Oops, I had too much zoom. Find finish so what you can do is you can look for a teacher and you can schedule a lesson with them to the time to, for a time that suits you the best for example here's Sabrine 15 euros uh, a, uh, that's a trial lesson I believe yes let me do so this are always okay let's just for example see what's so oh it's, it's actually opened a new new tab and that's a problem because I need to okay just a second share screen I think I have to use the window sharing okay yeah let, let's just try it this way so she offers Okay, real lesson, like 23 euros for a lesson. I mean, that's kind of reasonable considering that you can just stay at home. Like real lesson, conversation, practice, UKI test preparation. So I think that this is pretty good. Uh, let's go back. Uh, Ida. Uh, let's, let's see, Alexander, Juho. Kassu. Kassu is a cool name. Haiti. And there are, of course, some professional teachers, but most of these are like tutors. And this is good because if you just need someone to like a practice speaking finish and they can give you like tips and you can like, have like this conversational practice, iTalk is the best place to go. And there's a link in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link. And if you use it, I, I may get some beer money for myself and you can get this like a if you buy one lesson, you can get like another one for free. It's like a bonus. So you can try to create a, uh, create an account. Just see if it, if you can find someone. You can also try these trial lessons, which are cheaper. So this is what I would recommend. Uh, uh, meeting with your followers would be cool. Yes, definitely. It's been two. It's been a few years. Definitely. When is starting month of winter? Uh, you, I think December, from December to February is like the winter months. YouTubers like Katya teaches Finnish. Yeah, Cat Chats is also really good. Definitely can recommend it. But if you want to have real speaking practice, then platforms like I, I Talk is really good. How much Finland was affected by the war happening? Uh, well, of course, electricity went up, prices go up interests have gone up so it has definitely affected quite a bit and how much did the prices go well there are some statistics but i think the inflation in the euro area is like has been like eight percent so it's actually quite a bit terve chicagosta kiitos thomas ja terve tula me and my classmates want to go to finland through erasmus erasmus is it possible we won't be given accommodations any student houses, dorms? Yes, uh, there are student housing, student dorms in all cities. I have also lived in those m myself, and I think Erasmus people also stay in the student housing. You just need to apply for it when you get accepted. Do you still need to apply for the PR for EU citizen? No. If you are an EU citizen, then you can just move here. You just need to register your right of residency, and that's it. 
No need to worry about residence permits at all. Can we use drones below without any permission? Uh, you, I think there is this like some sort of license you need to get. Uh, if you just type in, okay, let's see. Finland drone license. Droneinfo.fi, okay. So there is a whole website about drone rules in, in Finland, droneinfo.fi, maybe I can paste it. I would probably come here, you have, yeah, you have to register as a drone operator and take the exam, so you probably have to do this, but that's where I would suggest to look at. What about Finnish liquor? <laughs> yeah, Finnish liquor, we have some Finnish liquor. There's some YouTube videos about that topic too, but yeah, I'm not really much into boozing <laughs> nowadays. But there's one really good booze I would recommend. It's called Minto. It's like this like mint flavor. It's kind of like a toothpaste with uh, <laughs> with booze, but it tastes really good and it's kind of strong. Finland's 8.2 inflation. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of Hey, Susie. Moi Susi. Moi kaikki. Ihan, ihan, ihan päivä. I think it's like ihanaa päivä, like lovely day. Thank you, Andre. Maybe we can try some online Finnish free resources first before getting serious in the language. Yeah, of course. There are a number of free resources there, like Duolingo and these YouTube channels, like Cat Chats and stuff. But of course, if you if you are serious about, if you really want to get results with Finnish, then I would consider making at least little investment in that stuff. For example, that it was like 20 euros an hour to speak, get one hour speaking practice. Maybe you can, let's say if you buy 20 euros worth of beer every month, maybe you can just cut the beer and invest that money into your Finnish skills. Just a quick example. Carlo. Terve, olen 70-vuotias ja muutetaan Joensuuhun Amerikasta. On paljon sukua siellä. Minkälaista siellä on eläkeläisellä asuntomaallisuus? Kiitos, Karlo. Tuota, uh, so, Karlo is asking about Joensuu. I think they have some opportunities there. there it, it's, Joensuu is like the big city in eastern Finland. So I think there should be, it should be good for pensioners. And there should be also a part instead. Dr. KPR Labs, you're a really nice person. Thank you. You too. Lidl still is quite cheap. Yep. I've also started to go to Lidl instead of Prisma because of the price increase. Any website to get information on PR requirements? Yes. Migri. Permanent residence permit Finland. Let's just Google it in. And first search result we get here. And all we have here, here it says you have lived in Finland continuously for four years with the continuous residence permit A, the A permit, and the requirements for granting continuous residence permit still exist. That's it. I'm going to link this also in the comments. Yep. I think the rules are the same. Could you make the inventory of clothing to stay outside without worries? It's a good idea. I have an old video about this topic. If you go to Alex himself, winter, you can find some good stuff there. But maybe I should do an updated videos as well. I have seen the weather has been un unusually warm over there. Yep. Is it the right time to buy an apartment? Finance apartment. What is finance? Is it like an like investing apartment? Well, the thing is that uh, because the interests are now increasing, it's oh, probably going to lower the apartment prices also a little bit or at least slow things down. So I think that's, it may open some opportunities if you're buying a home in Finland in the near future. Uusi kielemme has been amazing grammar. Yeah, uusi kielemme is also pretty good. Can you recommend a good Finnish author? Uh, Alexis Kivi 
is probably one of one of the most famous. The Seven Brothers is pretty pretty one of the fam most famous. Busu is a very good language, but they don't have Finnish. Yep, I think so too. Tervaks miten menee? En ole en ollut sinussa streamissä jo niin kauan. Kiitos. Pitkästä aikaa ja tervetuloa takaisin. Hyvin menee. Lately I've been meeting a lot of rude and unfriendly Finns it's because they don't like foreigners here. Um, maybe we, if we have a little bit more context, is it like in the street or where? They are just some people are just douchebags. We just have to live with it. It's they. It happens anywhere in the world. Some people like foreigners, some don't. I think it depends a lot of the temperature and how sensitive you are to cold temperatures. Yeah, I mean that's also true. It, it's it's really like a subjective thing. Uh, what about a laptop, mobile phone price in Philadelphia? Cheap? Can we buy them secondhand? Yeah, you can buy them secondhand. Sure. There are some stores who sell secondhand stuff. Uh, I was it was in the streets at shops. Mm. In which city was that? Because it's it's not very common. Like those are. Like, I mean, no one wants to spend time with those kind of people who would say something like that to strangers, but ignore the idiots. That's what I always advise to people. I don't like because I'm married with one of them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to just quickly grab a glass of water. I'll be right back. Right. Minä katson videota suomen kielen kurssin kanssa ja kuuntelen yleiselko suomeksi. Yeah, those are good options as well. Yeah, this yleiselko suomi is like this easy Finnish. So where they, for example, read Finnish with like this very like slow and clear Finnish. Finland and its population are one of the friendliest places I've been. I visited 18 European countries. Yeah, I've also heard this that there are some people who have told that, okay, for Finns have said me something bad, but then I've also had a lot of experiences from foreigners where they have said that like Finns are the most friendliest people ever. So it, it's also there's also some luck factor always. Can you suggest some secondhand shops in Uvascula? Um, I don't know much. It's it's like 10 years, 11 years since I was there studying. But if you just type in Google, Google Maps secondhand shop, I think you should also get some hits. I'm moving from Germany to Lahti upcoming month. Welcome to Finland. Great. What are the most commonly used online platforms? What do you mean online platforms? Like, like for what purpose? I guess we need a little bit more context. Will you make more spoken Finnish videos? Well, you know, the thing is that I think there is definitely a need and like demand for Finnish videos. But the thing is that I think it would require its own channel. And unfortunately, I'm not really motivated to go go like to balls deep <laughs> into that stuff but i think i'm still going to do some videos about learning finnish but uh yeah but i i have the few online courses as well but yeah i, I think there will be at least something in helsinki i was surprised how warm and friendly people were but even when i used my substandard finnish total opposite the third okay this is a great example that Finns can be very friendly. 
online platforms to buy electronic items. Electronic items. Like computers, stuff like that. Or like online stores. Well, again, it really depends if... Yeah, well, yeah I, I, oh, sorry, I just <laughs> didn't understand the question. Uh, I wrote in Finland a few days ago, since the culture is known for people's toism, a bit of intervention, would you recommend social... Yes! How, how would you recommend socializing as a foreigner? Um, well, of course, I would go probably to some place that you are interested in anyway. Let's say, uh, let's say if you're into stand-up, then maybe you can go to a international, like an English stand-up gig, and maybe to start people start talking to people there. But in my opinion, you can actually talk to people anywhere. Of course, the hit rates, the success rates can vary, vary a bit. But if you can find people who have similar interest that as you, then it's it's easier because you can then you have something in common to talk about. Uh, maybe get get a new hobby. Uh, if you have a job, talk, go to lunch with your workmates. Things, tips like this. What are the most common social media apps? Uh, I don't know the exact stats, but I think people use like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, things like that. Okay, maybe I'll have a quick look at the forms. If there is there anything there, because <laughs> we focused so much on the on the chat chat recently. Oh, and spill almost one and a half hours. Well, wow. oh, it's been a long day, but maybe I'll take a few more questions before I'll start my week. And I'm actually going to bowling tomorrow with a couple of my friends, friends, and uh, I should also get some first revisions for my video editors. Because, you know, it's going to be kind of interesting because I always make, like, write scripts when I film the videos. But I've, of course, written them for myself. And now when the editor has to look at them, then I think I, start, I will start to have write them in a way that the editor will also understand. So it's kind of, it's going to be an interesting process. Biggest company is Averco Kappa Power Gigant. Ah, of course. Thank you, Joe. Now I understood probably the question. Uh, vets are expensive in Finland. Yeah, I think vets are expensive. They're, that's why, for example, we have this uh, uh, insurance for Noah or Doc, and they cover the major slice of the costs if we have to do any 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 uh, visits to the vets, unfortunately, because the vets are most like private vets. The, there are also public vet, public sector vets, but the, the lines are like the waiting times are much longer so people just go to the private ones and they 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 are damn expensive but that's 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 why we will get the insurance oh, oh. And one kind of cool thing is that we're approaching 50,000 subscribers. It's, it's kind of kind of interesting, and and uh, yeah, it, it's a it's it's bigger than my hometown. <laughs> like if we if we took like 50,000 people, but yeah, I mean the subscriber counts as as a YouTuber. As people always like it's a, it's usually a big deal for YouTubers the subscriber count, but you know, for example, now we have 48 people watching this live stream, even if I have 50,000 subscribers. So it's 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 not necessarily like a, like it, like what I want, what do I want to say? So it's it's just like an indication that how many people have shown interest to watch that channel, but not not 50,000 people will for example watch my all my new videos. But I I mean it's still was half halfway there for 100k what's the secret to learn the fucking <laughs> language dude 
Yeah, we already talked about this. You, you just need to work hard and also focus, focus. Uh, I mean, my biggest, what has at least worked for me when I've been learning new languages is that I have started to have this practice practice speaking sessions with native speakers from the very start because um, it also helps me to remember the vocabulary when I'm actually using them in a real like a practice conversation it also helps with the pronunciation uh, the speakers can also teach you useful like a very natural phrases idioms and most importantly you will get confidence so there could be some people who are very good at grammar and vocabulary, but if they have a zero like a practice in speaking, then they can't really do much about it. There was this one German exchange student in Tampere who was there for one year and he actually learned very well in that one year. He was making grammar mistakes like in every sentence, but he had very good vocabulary and speaking skills so he, he was very confident speaking Finnish and he he was actually having very good conversations with people that was very amazing and I believe his magic was the, that he was speaking all the time hey Harry thank you for the five dollars really appreciate the continuous support from you and for being a member and all the generous super chats thank you Harry so much I hope you and your family are having a great time in Turku. Uh, <clears throat> let me take one more question from the forum. Uh, from Sh- Shah- Shahariar. Shahariar. From Bangladesh. Living in Finland for working. Questions. After living seven years in Finland, I am considering to move to some other countries. The unprofessional and slow service for migrants unbearable well first of all sorry to hear that uh so is migrate the only reason so migrate is the immigration service so i what i just like to understand is that look the overall picture how about the other aspects of life of your life you are working in finland how is the work do you enjoy working how is the everyday life how is the nature how is maybe you have a family how are they doing so is, is the migri only only the only negative thing so of course i don't know all the details from uh, and the context so but yeah of course there are some people who leave finland and that's okay that's okay so i'm not everyone makes their own decision and and as i said finland is it's not the perfect country finland is net, definitely not the country for everyone I, that's for sure. So, yeah, but you do you, but I would also look at the big picture. Like if, if, if you enter your life otherwise, but the migrate is just like, maybe they're just messing up something, then is it like too much? Okay. Ooh. Asima says, are big cities like Helsinki as safe as before? I think they're still safe. Um, there has been like some incidents, but I don't think the overall safety has um, decreased. In my opinion. <laughs> okay, let's take one more question. Then we're gonna wrap this step, wrap the show up for today, and maybe I will turn on my sauna. And I hope I can get some new videos next week because I'm I'm kind of like still working with those editors and seeing. So I have like a few people in the loop and see like who does the best job, and then yeah. And it probably takes a while once until they kind of understand like the what kind of videos I do and stuff like that. So interesting. 
Marta says, Kiitos paljon for the opportunity for this interchange, interchange Alexi. Highly interesting everything. Great to hear. Yeah. So I'm here to help you. <laughs> help you to with your Finland related questions and and stuff like that. But yeah. Let's see if there's any more questions. The form has been throughoutly checked. Okay. Ponya has the chance to ask the last question of tonight. Hi Alex, I like your channel a lot. I'm moving to Vas with a permanent job. Great. Any idea what's the city like? Well, I have visited Vas a few times. It's one of the biggest bigger cities in that area. There is a lot of Swedish speaking people also there. Uh, but well, I, uh, well, I, I think it's a good it's a good opportunity to also live in other cities than just in the capital area. Now that you have a permanent job in Vasa, you can stay there, see if you like it there. And if it's not really for you, then you can, for example, try to find a, another job in the, for example, the capital area, because when you have a, uh, when you will have job uh, experience in Finnish company, then it will, will be easier to find the next job, most likely. Which company is it? Is it Wärtsilä maybe? Wärtsilä is like this marine technology thing. I think is, is Wärtsilä in Vaasa? I think. Wärtsilä, there's also ABB. ABB is also there, I believe. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting to hear that a foreigner is moving to Vaasa for for um, for for their first job. I think also from abroad. I could be also wrong, just just uh, like speculating and guessing but yes Wärtsilä okay yeah Wärtsilä is this like a yeah married technology it's a publicly traded company also I, I don't know I, I I was actually looking some uh, interesting companies with the Helsinki stock exchange but I, I didn't buy Wärtsilä though but Wärtsilä is very known company but yeah I, I think it will be <coughs> good experience anyways okay there's a few more questions <laughs> let's take a couple more is partying a waste of time for you well i wouldn't say so when i was a student i used to go to parties a lot but i don't do it nowadays because there's more important things for example building my business youtube empire <laughs> uh going to the gym stuff like that and of course because i have i have a relationship also so i don't that's not even a motivator to go anymore. But I, if there's a good reason to party, for example, tomorrow we're going to go to bowling and maybe some food and drinks. So I guess that's also partying for me. I don't think it's a waste of time as long as it's good for you. Hey, Alexei, be watching your videos recently. Good job. No, no deep seeing. Thank you so much. Hey, Alexei, how about it? Okay, this is the last question. What would be the best part of jumps uh, to go for? Uh, well, this is a very common question. I think my buddy Oliver from the Road to Channel YouTube. Actually, yeah, let, let me let's let's take that one also. Road to finish part time jobs. Yeah, if you're interested in that topic, uh, go watch my buddy Oliver. He makes videos about these topics. And he has, for example, how to find part-time jobs for international students in Finland. 15 tips. So I think he he knows better than me. I recommend you go check that one. It's so also Road. Uh, yeah, uh, Road to Finish is the channel name. Let me just copy it. Great. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. I saw one more question here. Genuine question. I've been in Helsinki not full week and always it two severely drunk men. Is this a serious problem? No. I think every country has drunk men. You probably had a little bit bad luck to see them so often. And in some areas, there may be more drunks. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. But hey, thank you for joining today's show. I enjoyed helping 
you uh, uh, today. I hope you also found this interesting. And, and uh, there are some additional resources in the description. You can check them out. And uh, I hopefully I will see you next week with new videos. Have a great weekend. Stay fantastic. Bye-bye.